Hey what's up everyone welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel and if you're new here don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell beside it for you to get notified whenever I upload new videos in this channel. In this video I'll show you how to use Acred for drop shipping. So this is going to be a beginner's tutorial. But before we start, hurry up and check out our new silver just under this video. But in this case, how do we actually start using their services? So first things first is you need to go to your website. Go ahead and open up any browser here. Go to equid.com. And from here, we want to go ahead and get started. So in this case, if you're familiar with Shopify, well, Equid is kind of similar to that. So we'll be able to sell anything in this case. So we need to sign up, so go ahead and click on the get started for free at the top right or at the center of your screen here. Now once we click on it, it should redirect you to another page here, which in this case, the registration field. Now in this case, you go and enter the, your details here, so that includes your first name, last name, the email password that you want to use, the email and password that you want to use, and from there, you just need to set up your store. But if you already have a Google account or a Facebook account or an Apple account, you can just basically use those accounts to create your Equity account. Now, in this case, I'll be using my Google account as a means of signing up here. And from here, I want to use one of my email addresses here. So let's just wait for it to load up. But it should load up here. Just click on it. And it should load up or start the account creation process. So let's just wait for it. Now on the next page, it's going to give us an, uh, these steps on actually setting up our store. So first things first is we need to enter some information about our store, like the store name, the location or country of our store, and the currency I want to use. Like for example, I want to name this as the store here. And from here, we want to click on next. Now in here, the next page should show us the company address and get paid and set delivery. In this case, we need to enter the CD, state, and zip, and postal code for our store. So let's go ahead and enter all those details. Now in the next page, it's going to ask you, do you or do you already have experience selling? So if you if you if you do have experience on it, make sure that you answer yes. But if you're just getting started, choose getting started. So what type of products will you be selling here? So they have a bunch of products that you could sell here. For example, we have art and photography, we have up supplies here, electronics computer, books, music, and video. So maybe for example, we want to say we are going to be selling books and music video here. And uh, from here, we want to answer the question, are you setting up a store for someone else? So I'm going to say no. So in this case, let's just click on yes, on next here. And from here, you will be able to see the last step. In this case, uh, do you have or do you already have a website? So I'm going to say no. And from here, it's going to give us the option to create our site here. So it's going to be the following address here that we will be using. Just click on next. And it should start initiate process on the store creation process. So let's just wait for it. And as you can see, these are the plans that you can choose from from Equid. So currently, they have the free venture business and unlimited now depending on what plan that you choose here you'll be able to access or enjoy their features here like for example for venture you have free everything for free to add one other products connecting custom domains and a lot more but the good thing about equid here is you could create your store here for free so you could use their free pad here with limitations now in this case since we are just trying this out let's just click on create a store it's free in this case, we should be able to see the dashboard itself. In the dashboard here, it might give you the creating section here, which in this case, it's going to give you some information. What are the things that you should be doing first before you proceed on other stuff here? Now, in this case, how do we actually start a drop shipping business or use drop shipping on Egrid? Well, it's actually pretty easy. We just need to install an app on it. So at the bottom left here, you should see the app section and you want to go to app market. Now in the app market, we need to search or enter a specific keyword here. Now in this case, let's go to the search apps at the top left here. And we want to say or uh, enter the uh, following, which is going to be drop ship. And from here, it should give you different options on uh, installing those applications. It's actually support drop shipping. So currently they have sub drop shipping here, which is for free. You could use their service for free. 
they also have the Saatsing key for suppliers. So you global drop shipping here, but they do have a free trial here, but it is going to be paid. Now, in this case, just give an example, I will be using sub drop shipping here, but I would recommend you to first do your research here because we want to know what are the things that we want to do first. So depending on what you want to use here, be, uh, make sure that you do your research first. But for this example, I'll be using sub drop shipping here. Now it's going to redirect me into the app section. So let's go ahead and click on install here. Click on install since this is actually for free. So let's just wait for it to load up and install. And once it's installed, it's going to open it up. Click on open app if it doesn't actually load up. But currently it's still loading, so let's just wait for it. Now in here, you should be able to see the next website here for shop drip shipping. So in this case, it's going to welcome you. So just go and click on the go to tutorial dashboard here. So in this case, let's just go back into our main website. So in this case, I actually went back to Equid and I saw the sub, uh, sub drop shipping here. Click on open app again and it should actually open up the sub drop shipping dot com website. Now, in this case, how do we actually start uh, using their services? Now, in here, what we need to do next is we need to look for products. So go to the left section here, go to find products and go to sourcing. Now, under sourcing, you need to upload an image here that you could use as a reference. So maybe you want to use this product here. So I've already done this uh, picture here. So once we uploaded that image, we should be able to see different images or different products that you might want to try selling. Now, for example, maybe we want to sell this product here. So maybe this one. So in this case, you have the option to view or import. So let's just view the first product first. Now, in here, you should be able to see different details about the product and the different information about it. So it might load uh, slowly here, so just wait for it to load up. So sometimes it might say, sorry, you have detected unusual traffic from your network. So in this case, we need to verify it, so make sure you slide it to verify. And from here, let's just wait for it to load up. Now, in this case, going to load up the shop here, when in this case, you might see it in a different language. So go ahead and translate it to uh, English. So once it's see it, you should be able to see different information about it. Like for example, the colors that is available, the sizes, and a lot more. Now once you've decided that you want to use this product here, you could go ahead and go back to the member center. And from here, again, look for that product. So maybe I think this is the product here. Just click on the import button. And from here, are you sure you want to import this product? Just click on import confirm. And from here, it's going to say acquisition completed. Now, in this case, what we need to do is we need to go to imported products here. And we want to look for that product that we want to basically sell. So maybe this one. So in this case, you could go ahead and click on check details, lease it to store, view source or delete it. Now, since we wanted to add, we want this to add to be added into our store, just click on list it to store and should give you this pop up here wherein you will need to fill out some information about this one. Like for example, the amount of the colors or the uh, so prices for it. So maybe the price for it is going to be, this is just an example, you could change this on uh, depending on yours. So maybe I want to say this is going to be $8. And the uh, store price here should be updated. But if you want to change this or the price for a specific color, you could change that. And you also have to agree terms and policy here. So I would recommend you to read their terms and policy here just to ensure that you know what are the things that are allowed within the platform itself and what is not allowed. So for now, let's just click on list it now. And from here, what we need to do is just wait for it. So sometimes it might request you some information on it. So it might take some time for it to load up. So let's just wait for it. And once the process is completed, it should be listed into your store. So in this case, once you've done that, you could go and click on the X button at the top right here. And from here, when we go to the product section here and go to my inventory or in the section if we're listed here, since we will be located, as you can see, it is now part of our listed products. Now, if you want to open this in a store, like for example, open in store here, you should be able to see it in Equid as of this moment. And you should be able to change the information on it on Equid itself like changing the product price for it and a lot of uh, information like uh, the description SKU the way on it and a lot more so yeah so that's how you use Equid for drop shipping so that's about it
So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.